Hey everyone, welcome to another book breakdown. Today we're going to be doing The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. Book breakdowns are intended to provide you the main concepts and thoughts that I have about some nonfiction and fiction novels. And so today what we're going to be doing is kind of talking about um, ideas that I developed while reading this book. Um, I'm not going to do a summary of the book, so this is, is intended for people who have already read The Secret Life of Bees and can kind of relate and associate with um, some of the concepts and ideas that I'm going to be talking about today. So one of the first things that I kind of thought about was when August, um, one of the sisters, starts talking to Lily about how Lily's mom had a uh, imaginary friend named Deborah. And I thought that was just kind of a cool idea because August talks about how Deborah was basically the person who Lily's mom wanted to be. So like th that was like a really interesting twist because that got me thinking about if I've ever had an imaginary friend, which I, I don't remember having imaginary friends. I mean, I'm sure I had plenty of like stuffed animals and, uh, you know, GI Joes and stuff that I would play with, but I don't remember having any imaginary friend in which uh, could have been someone I wanted to be. Um, but it definitely is getting me thinking about, you know, next time I run across a kid that has an imaginary friend, um, I'm going to ask them a ton of questions about their imaginary friend just to get an idea of, you know, what's the purpose of that imaginary friend. Um, so yeah, so if you guys have anybody with an imaginary friend or remember it, I would love to hear, you know, some some of the experiences and, you know, what you remember about imaginary friends. The second concept is kind of a big one and I, and I thought about it a lot because it this thought came when August was explaining to Lily how depressed Lily's mom was and that is the reason that she ran away and to a 13 year old kid explaining depression has to be one of the hardest things because I, I you know I remember being a kid and thinking that my parents were these perfect beings that did no wrong and they knew everything and for a kid to realize that their mom went through this phase in which depression caused them to run away from her, I, I, I can't, I mean, it's so hard to put yourself into that perspective because, you know, I'm not 13. I'm, you know, I'm 24 years old and I'm sure I've experienced a taste of depression so I can have an idea of what Lily's mom was going through. But Lily herself had no idea what her mom was going through. And so when she gets told that depression caused her mom to run away, I would have the same reaction. I would get I would get really upset because I would think, you know, well, that's a not good enough excuse. She should always want to be there for me. Um, so that definitely got me thinking about how I communicate to kids and to people who haven't experienced the things that I've experienced. And especially in coaching, I have to realize that these kids don't know, you know, things that I just assume everyone knows. And so that, that really, that idea um, stuck with me. The third concept is kind of just the reminder that this racial injustice like occurred. And like back in the 60s, how terribly African-Americans were treated. And it just kind of served as a reminder to me um, that this was ex like accepted. Like some of these mentalities um, about African Americans being inferior back then, like there was a lot of people who actually believed that. So I think it's it's good for us to you know remember what had happened so that we can make sure to never repeat those actions again. So this last point that I got from it is something that has really been a main focus of mine for the past year. And it has to do with the fact that T-Ray, Lily's dad, um, is just a terrible guy. Like he, you know, he basically mentally and physically abuses Lily. Um, but at the end, what you realize is that he was just suffering. Like his anger and aggression manifested from this deep deep sadness in himself because Lily's mom was gone and Lily's mom ran away from him so it you know one thing I've really wanted to get better at is being empathetic towards others and trying to understand their actions um, you know because I, I like to think that people are doing the best that they can with what they got and while T Ray was not doing good things he was being extremely harmful to his daughter 
I wanted to acknowledge and like kind of sympathize with him because you know he just didn't know how to handle that kind of depression and it just manifested into these very very negative behaviors so once again I, the, the idea of people doing the best that they can with what they have I mean the poor guy probably had no one to talk to he was probably just miserable and while I don't condone his actions I still sympathize with what he went through and I think that's something that we can always do in all walks of life is try to understand where people are coming from and why are they doing the things that they're doing people don't want to be mean people don't like being mean and ha like having people not like them so so yeah people are just out there doing the best that they can with what they got and just trying to understand people is just the main point I got from that um, that idea so thank you again for watching another book breakdown this was our first fiction novel um, so as always read the book um, I try not to give too many spoilers away so what I told you you know you could still go and read the book and there's still gonna be things that you're gonna learn but like always read the book it's gonna be the best way to gain the knowledge so I will see you guys next time